Alright, look at this, folks. Not to scare anyone, but this has happened. So, and it's been brought to my attention, obviously, by High Impact Vlogs. Thank you, Brian. You're a good man. Of a secondary explosion. Uh, let's just uh, see if we can see. Wow. <laughs> That's quite an explosion, guys. Hey, you subscribe. And uh, there you can see That's um, crazy. the enormity of uh, what appears to be a uh, secondary explosion, whether that was... Uh, I'll tell you this, look at that. If anybody was <laughs> in that general area right there, yeah, I don't see how they could have survived or made it through There's without no sustaining some serious injuries because that repercussion right there if you were standing next to a, if even if you weren't standing next to a wall if it blew you somewhere when it you landed down. you're gonna be hurting mm -hmm. if you live watch this well that was uh look at that that is just crazy uh, it could well be the first explosion because it may have been a fire just before it but uh oh, yeah there was rumble. a fire there was a fire right before it look at this and there's already check this out there's already some kind of fire going Mm -hmm. And people already stopped along this road taking pictures and reporting on it, you know, independently. Gonna, uh, show you some pictures. So as soon as if independent reporting going, is all you can trust anymore. Of, of a secondary explosion. Uh, let's just uh, see if we can see. Look at that. I wonder if they got the primary explosion mm -hmm. on video. We have there it. has to be street. This guy called Brink on Twitter put this out today. This is This is also sad. Because it's, there's a rule for me and a rule for thee. And I don't have to follow the rules because I'm a... Government worker? I'm a, I'm a narcissistic, psychopathic overlord and so, same they don't thing. have to apply to me. This is, I think it's, uh, I think it's the funeral of maybe John Lewis or, I don't, I don't know. It says, Brink says, I get it. My dad wasn't important, so it's okay to limit his funeral to 10 people tomorrow. This is not, oh, oh, yeah, this is John Lewis's. This is not an attack or statement on Lewis or Mass, rather a statement on the double standard of those who have voted, in, uh, we have voted into office the peop and the, uh, versus the people who voted for him. That's, the, that's this guy. Right. Yeah, and I didn't take it as an attack. I'm just, yeah, it's, it's a double standard. Yeah. They say you can't have, matter of fact, for a time there, they were saying you can't even have a funeral at all. And all of a sudden, George Floyd mm -hmm. gets what? Four or five funerals with a gold casket. Everybody's around. Some people aren't wearing masks. Nobody's practicing social distancing. The church is packed like you're right here on John Lewis. Nobody's practicing social distancing right there. Mm -mm. Nobody. It's just like with the double standard that they're throwing out there. You can't sing in church. I forget what state might have been California. You can't sing in church. And you can't. They're trying to make it somewhere else where you can't have Bible study in your own home. But yet they can, people can go out and protest and do all these marches and this and that and let it turn into violence. And that's okay. This is a, this is an, this is, this, if this isn't obvious to people what the heck is going on right now, Anybody that this ain't obvious to, it's because they're not looking for truth. They're not looking into it. They don't care. They're just following orders like good little slaves. I just don't know what else to say. Other than, thank God for anyone and everyone that's out there looking for truth. Thank God for anyone and everyone that's out there trying to point out what's going on. God knows where this is heading. But, I digress. I love you all. God bless you.